Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. A good afternoon to you all ladies and gentlemen, a good semi-rainy afternoon, a light rain is actually falling right now. And if it picks up, it picks up, there's some spotty thunderstorms out there, so if it picks up and gets heavier, I'll just raise my voice and that'll be fine. Um, on this somewhat rainy day, I thought to myself, well I want to do a review, but uh, I don't know what's a good place to try out. I was scouring, I was trying to find out, alright, what's new, what's new, what's new on this Sunday? Steak and Shake. They have a new item out. And the way this is, the, the name of this item, this is going to be the best thing you've ever seen. Get ready for this. This is the Bacon in Cheese Triple Extreme Steak Burger. That's what it's called. It's the Bacon in Cheese Triple Extreme Steak steak burger. What a name, right? Wow. It's got bacon and cheese, triple something, and it's extreme. And it's a steak burger, too. Wow. It's extreme. I mean, this this has to have something new on it, right? Something that no other, no other item on the Steak and Shake menu has. This has to be just so inventive, so new, must have some special sauce, right? Some special type of bacon. Some special, even higher quality patty, right? What's in it? What has it got? What's, what's different about it? It's a bacon and cheeseburger, that's it. This is all that it has on it. And it has a good amount, but the name is such... There's a, there's a word for it, but I'm not going to say it on this show. All this, the, all this has on it is three beef patties, which is that's fine. Um, some American cheese slices, bacon, lettuce... Pickles, tomato, onion, and ketchup. No special sauce. No special bacon. No special seasoning. No special diamond-encrusted bun. It's, it's a, in short, it's a deluxe bacon and cheese burger. And the name really just, it irked me when I saw this sensationalized name. You know, the bacon and cheese, triple extreme. And they, they don't even say extreme, it's extreme steak burger so it's a disappointment just in terms of the name and I, maybe I do have a personal vendetta against this name but to be quite honest if they're going to sensationalize something so much and it's really just a, a, a triple bacon cheeseburger um, I'm, I, I'm just I don't know I'm not a big fan of that sensationalized name for it all anyway as I said, this has, and I took a little, some notes there in a new notebook, has three beef patties, two American cheese slices, some bacon, lettuce, pickles, tomato, onion, and ketchup. It's like a deluxe burger. Think of it like that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Let's get the wrapping here. But, it could have a terrible name, but it might be an excellent sandwich, so let's see. Got this down to catch all the excrements. Here it is. Hmm. Well, it is a deluxe burger. You know, I'll give them credit for that. Look at that. It's a... Hey, it's not a bad-looking sandwich. It's aesthetically pleasing. It looks fresh. Um, I can bash the name all I want, but it's not going to affect how it tastes. It could be a delicious sandwich. I will... I'll give them credit. It has some good amount of bacon on it. Um, you can see the bacon there. It looks nice and fresh, crispy. Um... You can see the onions there, the lettuce, the tomato. Um, you can see the bacon there, the nice melted cheese, the three patties, a pickle even. Uh, so you know what? I'm actually might have some fairly high expectations for this sandwich. It looks like it's kind of glued together by the uh, by the cheese there. So I think I think it you don't really need to untop it because you can really see everything that's on it already. There's some of the cheese there. I think I'm just going to start digging into this, and uh, I'll let you know what it tastes like. I don't want to just eat the lettuce, so I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to really start on this side. Here, you can see it right there. And that's all that I got for you. So this is the Bacon and Cheese Triple Extreme Steak Burger from Steak and Shake going in.
sometimes when there's so much juice and oil in the burger, the ingredients have a tendency to slide around a bit. So I'm going to kind of bite my way around it in some cases, uh, just so I can taste everything. You know, I don't want to just bite the beef patties and give an assessment on that incorrectly. I think we'll take two more bites. Make sure it's all clean clean for the assessment. I still have a problem with the name because the name always implies that there's something special about this when it's really just a deluxe burger but you know when it comes to the taste thereof it's not bad at all steak and shake and I've always considered steak and shake to be good quality and consistently high quality in terms of its burgers and, and how it all tastes it meets, it meets the mark, you know, it meets the mark. Names aside, how does it taste? This is a big burger, and it has a lot of flavor, it is extremely flavorful, but you know, the thing that took me by surprise, now when I say by surprise, that can be negative or positive, but this is a good, good kind of surprise, a happy, pleasant surprise, was the beef patties. Now that's really what you're looking for, that's really what you want when you get a burger for the most part. You want those beef patties, and you want them to be of good quality. You want them to taste good. You want to have a nice, good bacon burger, really. Well, these beef patties were so juicy, so rich in flavor. They were excellent, these beef patties. They were just so full of flavor, so packed full of flavor. They weren't dry and tough and chewy at all. I mean, just the quality of these beef patties was excellent, and they were what you want in a burger. You know, when you get a beef patty like this, you know, they cooked it up right fresh on the grill there. They didn't have it sitting under some hot light for six hours and then served it up fresh. You know that they made this right there for you, and this is just as fresh as it gets. So I really give them credit for the quality of these beef patties because they are just, you know, this is on the line with like five guys I'm, I'm talking here. This is very good quality beef right here. And uh, this is something that really, I think, makes this sandwich because it's just very good tasting, um, just so juicy and flavorful. And uh, I, I think they just did a great job with those. So, number one, I give them a lot of credit. And right there, I'll, I'll forgive them. I'll forgive them on the extreme part. All right, I'll let that go because the, the beef patties made up for that. Another thing I want to give them credit for is the bacon. So many places nowadays will do one of two things with bacon. They'll either, A, give you these piece of garbage, microwavable bacon strips that you can tell it's, you know, it's all, it's, it's just been heated up in the microwave for five seconds and that's it. And it looks just rubbery and, you know, it's, it's not flavorful at all. Or they'll get a real piece of bacon, they'll cut it in half and just put a single slice in two halves and try and make it look like you're getting more than you're actually getting. So another thing I'm going to give them credit for on this burger is you actually are getting a good amount of bacon strips 
This is legitimate bacon, has that nice fattiness to it, has a nice little crispy crunch as well. The bacon itself is quality too, I give them credit for that as well. The cheese is flavorful, it helps hold everything together I think, at least when you're talking about the beef patties and the bacon and all that, it kind of glues it all together and solidifies it all so that at least that part isn't sliding around everywhere and you're not losing bacon strips left and right. So the cheese itself also adds some pleasant flavor. It's, it's, it's good quality. Um, American cheese, I know it sometimes gets a bad rep, but uh, they did it right this time around. They did a, a good job there. Then it comes down to all of the, you know, all of the, the other toppings and, and condiments on it, etc. How do those blend together? The one thing that I always notice when it comes to these burgers that have all these toppings, this is just the one thing that I really can only, aside from the name, forget about the name, um, aside from that, the only thing I can really criticize this on is sometimes with these burgers that have a lot of toppings on it, they can be very slippery, they can slide around, they can loosen your grip on the sandwich. Now, I know I didn't eat it with the special sandwich holder, but we, even with those, sometimes I notice things can sometimes slide out. They can just be very messy. So sometimes when you have all these pickles and some ketchup on it and onions and lettuce and tomato, it can just be very watery at times, very slippery, and you just have to be careful while eating that. Um, so that's the one thing that you just have to keep note of with all these toppings. But even those, it just adds a very pleasant freshness to it. Um, you know, all the different flavors that are in there, that sharpness of kind of the, the onions there, and the little vinegariness of the pickles too, combining in with just the lettuce and the tomato, all mixing together with the beef patties. I mean, it all just works so well. It's fresh ingredients. The whole thing is just fresh. I gotta say, Steak and Shake did impress me with this. They, they had a name on this burger that kind of left me questioning exactly how good this is going to be, but they took something and they really did a, a good job of it. They made this a good sandwich. It's big. I mean, you just need one of these. It's going to fill you up. Um, I recommend the triple, especially if you want to get a nice meal right there. And I think they did a good job with it. I really do. Now, price-wise for this, here's the catch. All right. This cost me $6. And I was reading online, you can get this with fries for $8. Um, in some states, it'll be $7. The price is a little bit high. This is a bit of a high price for it but then I have to look at it you know the price itself is a, a little high but here's the thing that makes me kind of look at this price you're not paying for something that's terrible because if this wasn't good if the patties were dry and everything was just you know stale and it wasn't good at all then I'd be saying this is grossly overpriced but you're paying this money and you're getting a delicious sandwich here and I say that and I mean it I don't, I don't call a lot of things you know delicious like that this was this was very good, and I enjoyed it, and I think you're getting your money's worth. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, out of 10, what am I going to be rating the bacon and cheese triple extreme steak burger from Steak and Shake? I got to give this a 9.6 out of 10. I mean, I really cannot find much at all to criticize of this because I think they just hit the mark, and they're giving you something that I think you will enjoy very much so. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all that I have for you today. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Today's review was for the Bacon and Cheese Triple Extreme Steak Burger from Steak and Shake. Thank you for watching and have a happy Sunday.